Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon. It was nice to see some sunshine today, although it was very hazy with the sea fog sitting off the coastline this afternoon. And you can see that here on our live sky cam. That hazy look is all that moisture in the air from the sea fog. And we'll see a little bit more of that tonight. Temperatures are very mild, though. We're sitting at 74 in Corpus Christi. It's warm at Robstown, 81 degrees with that southeast wind. And it's a little breezy right along the coast at this time. Well, tomorrow, this is tomorrow's forecast. There is a chance of an isolated shower. Uh, maybe Mainly in the morning at the coast, then inland in the afternoon, but not much rain tomorrow, just isolated. And temperatures reaching into the 70s again uh, with a lot of cloud cover and becoming a bit breezy in the afternoon. Now, we do have a front coming down, and that'll be here Thursday. Let me show you the progression here. This is tomorrow, uh, this is tonight, and you can see how it shows a few showers this forecast model popping up here and there isolated in nature for wednesday morning moving inland in the afternoon as temperatures hit into those 70s under mostly cloudy skies wednesday night into thursday again isolated showers are possible but as the front comes in you see those wind arrows shifting to the north there thursday morning that's when we'll start to see the most rain as the upper level wave moves across and that'll be through friday morning so thursday afternoon and into friday morning it'll end as we'll see that rain ending as the drier air works its way in. Look how much cooler it is Friday, staying in the 50s and a lot of cloud cover. Now, we have this first batch of cool air that's going to arrive starting Thursday. It starts to ooze its way in, but the Arctic air, watch as I put this into motion from Saturday through Monday, that doesn't get here until Sunday and Monday. That's when it's going to be the coldest, at least the way it's looking right now, and this could change. But right now, it looks like the coldest air arrives uh, later in the weekend, and for Monday. Now with that, we also have waves of low pressure aloft above the surface, above that cold air, which are going to move across the area. The first one brings that rain. This is a Thursday into Friday morning. That's our first upper level wave. The air is warm enough for all rain with that one. And then as we go into Saturday and that Arctic air starts to arrive, the next upper wave may spark a couple of showers Saturday, just rain. But Here's the next one coming in from uh, the southwest. As that wave moves in, the cold air is already here. At the surface, it's freezing, and there could be a wintry mix develop. We're talking the potential early Monday of freezing rain and then possibly some sleet mixing in with snow farther to the north. So we're keeping an eye on that. That's not a done deal yet. It's something forecast models are working out on the details, but that potential is there. And you can see from these headlines, there's a lot of wintry weather heading our way, including the potential of wind chill advisories by Monday as the wind chills could be as low as the upper teens to 20 right here in the coastal bend. So that's a lot to watch here as we head into the weekend and you'll want to protect pipes, plants and pets by Sunday and Monday. There's a look at your seven day forecast then. The next couple of days look pretty mild, but you can see it drops off starting Friday and drops off a lot more for Sunday and